Okay, so this video we will go over uh, methods of undetermined solutions, particular solutions, and this is really just to be treated as a reference. So this is gx and this is what we should guess our yp should be. So if gx is 7, we say yp is equal to a, 5x plus 7, we would get ax plus b, 4x squared, we would get ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, now we have a cubed root, so we get ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Uh, 5e raised to 4x, we would say ae raised to the 4x. Uh, 3x plus 5e e raised to 2x, we would get ax plus b, e raised to 2x. x squared times e raised to 5x, and so we say ax squared plus bx plus c, we focus on the x squared on the inside, times e raised to 5x. Sine 4x, we say a cosine 4x plus b sine 4x. Cosine 4x, we say a cosine 4x, b sine 4x, they're, they're pretty much the same. 3 cosine 2x, we go a cosine 2x plus b sine 2x. And now we have e raised to negative 2x times cosine parentheses 3x plus 2 sine parentheses 3x. So we would get ae raised to the negative 2x cosine 3x plus b e raised to negative 2x sine 3x. Next is a 3x squared sine 5x. So we go focus on the inside x squared. So ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we treat uh, um, like sine 4x where we say cosine 5x, sine 5x. But here the next one would be dx squared plus ex plus 4, plus f, another, another round. Then we have x times e raised to 3x, cosine 2x. So we would get ax plus b, e raised to 3x, cosine 2x, plus cx plus d, e raised to 3x, sine 2x. And lastly, we got uh, 3x plus 5 plus sine 4x. So we would say this right here would be ax plus b. And then here we would have c cosine 4x plus d sine 4x. Uh, I mean, there, there are some more, but this is really to be treated as a reference. Now, in the, now on this slide, in the event, we have a duplicate solution. So let's say we have y double prime plus y is equal to negative 2 cosine t. Our yc, our complementary solution, or our homogeneous solution would be c1 times cosine t plus c2 times sine t. Um, we're getting that by doing like r squared plus r is equal to zero. That's how we got this. Now, based off of this table, we would say that yp is equal to a cosine t plus b sine t. But if you notice, if a is replaced by c1 and b is replaced by c2, we have a duplicate solution. And so actually, our yp would be, uh, we simply just multiply by t each component. So a times t cosine t plus b times t sine t. So it's unique. Now another example is this. And our complementary solution would be c1 times e raised to t plus c2 times t e raised to t. Now if we were just to look at this, our particular solution would be a t squared plus b t plus c times e raised to t. And here, once again, we have a duplicate solution because c e t, like if you just look at this, that's a duplicate solution of this. If we multiply everything by t, like t cubed, t squared, c t, we have another duplicate, this one right here, because then we'd have a duplicate of this. And so instead, we would multiply by t squared. Now we have at raised to the fourth bt cubed plus ct squared. And so if we do uh, ct squared times e raised to t, just looking at this, this is uh, unique from this. And that's why this would be our actual yp. And that's about it.